YouTube, how's it going? It's your boy Ali, bringing you a brand new video. We're going to be talking about top MCU villains. I got recommended this tier list from a friend. He told me to go through this tier list and know what I think. Um, to me, this is the easier tier list because there's a lot of horrible villains in this. But there's like a few good ones. So I think let's go through the horrible ones real quick. Let's get Yon Raw. I don't even remember him too much from Captain Marvel. Um, where was the other? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he was that good either. Alexander Pierce, him, he 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 was smart, but he wasn't a good villain. Justin Hammer is the worst. Um, let's see, is that all the bottom bottom output? Sony Burt, who was he ever in for? I forget. If he was, if I remember, he's not that good then, right? Okay. Okay, that I think would be the bottom of the bottom. Maybe I'll change something up. We'll see. So let's go to Dormammu first. How Doctor Strange had to fight Dormammu, he couldn't beat him. I think he's like a top tier villain. I think this could have been more epic than the way it was, but it was done very well. And I think Dormammu is an S tier villain. I think he. I think another one we all know should be S tier is Thanos. How he basically wiped out half of the thing, then he killed my Iron Man. Spoilers, you know. If you haven't seen the movie yet, I don't know what to say. You're living under a rock, and you're watching this video. I don't know why, but if you've seen everything, this is Thanos did some crazy shit, and I did not like it. Um, another villain would be Ego. Ego was Star Lord's dad. And he was basically God. I don't think he was that great of a villain, though. I did enjoy this villain arc. Put him at B. Because he was still super powerful, but he wasn't that enjoyable. Like, Alexander Pierce, like, the movie was so good. But him as a villain, he wasn't that great of a villain. But the story was well done in how he did it. Um, Ghost, I would put C tier 2 from Ant-Man. I think the, them two would be together, Ant-Man, Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket wasn't that crazy either. I'm not an Ant-Man fan, so I don't know. And I think another one that would join that would be like Whiplash from Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man 2, he was, he had, he had some cool, like, back in the day that shit was cool. But, you know, when you go with all the movies now and you look back at it, you're like, okay. Yeah, that's good. Below average. But if you looked at it when that movie came out, probably top tier. Um... The movie was in itself was amazing though. I I enjoyed Iron Man one. Iron Man one was the best Iron Man, best Marvel movie by far for me. I love that Marvel movie. Then it'll be like Avengers, Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers. I've, I think I've done the Marvel movie tier list. If I haven't, I'll probably do one. I'm pretty sure I have, or I've tweeted it out. Um, Hela, the goddess of death. She is OP. I think she has to be up here too. They had to basically destroy a whole planet to get rid of her. Um, Iron Monger, I think would be the same area as the B tier here. I think he was a great villain, but for beginning for Iron Man, but like if you look back at it now, nah, nah. Caseyus, I think he was pretty well done, but I don't think he was amazing villain. I put him around C. Killmonger, I think he did a great job of going as Black Panther, and he was a good villain, and he like. Manipulated people pretty well. Now this is the hard one for me. So I want to put Loki S tier or A tier. I think Loki his tricks and everything. He is a really good villain, but I also think is he a full on villain? Like he has a good side to him, but his, his overall character is S tier. Is his villainous S tier? I don't know. Like his character is S tier for sure. I would say villainous, I would put him around A tier. Actually, no, I'll put, I'll, yeah, I'll put him A tier. Yeah. Because he can't really fight with these three. He can't compare to these three villains. Uh, Maliki, he was a good villain. I didn't like the movie, but he was okay. I, I'm a, I, I, I can't put him too far. Here. Red Skull is better. Red Skull was actually a strong villain. And I'll put him B. 
Actually, no, Red Skull wasn't as strong. I, I, I don't want to put him at B. I think that's too high. I would put, like, Roman. He was a strong villain. And Guardians. I would put him either A or B. I think I'll put him high B. I'll put Winter Soldier at A. He was a strong villain, too. Um... Actually, I gotta put I gotta switch Ronan up to A two. Th these two were really good, and Ronan was super strong against the Guardians. Winter Soldier basically got brainwashed and did a lot of evil things. If you don't know, spoiler alert: he killed Iron Man's parents. Ultron, strong, annoying. I I didn't like the movie, but we'll have to put him A tier as a villain. He did a great job as a villain. He killed the speedster in the villain. Oh my god, spoiler if you haven't seen it. Um Yeah. Now Vulture, I love Spider Man. Spider Man's Mar MCU is the best Spider Man I've ever seen. They've done the movie fantastically. But as a villain, Vulture he's good, but he isn't up there. He can't compare to them. Zemo is the one that basically Broke everybody apart in the Avengers and the Civil War, you know, Captain America Civil War, that shit happened. He manipulated everyone to his ways. He was very cunning. And then after watching him in the TV show, you can see how smart he was and how cunning he was. I think you got to put him at B tier. Yeah, I think that's my list for the MCU villains. If you want to see a different list or anything else, let me know in the comments below. I'm just trying to produce some content. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.